the rigging is getting confirmed. The truth is coming out. 2024 has been a crazy year. This article is about Bank of America going against a whistleblower. The whistleblower was telling it all about how the banks are feeding information to investors. Not you, not you. No, you know who I'm talking about. They're feeding information and rigging the system. But when I put titles out that that are that say something like the system is rigged, is rigged, it's all planned, some people don't take that seriously. That's serious business. We we all know behind the scenes how it goes. It's about who you know, and they feed each other information. The game is slanted. It says this. Bank of America has initiated an internal probe following a whistleblower's claim that its bankers leaked confidential details to investors ahead of a major stock sale. You think this doesn't happen in crypto? They're playing everybody. I've been telling you this. This isn't the only one. I got another article coming up. We got a few of them. The truth is coming out. They've been rigging the systems manipulating everything you see how the markets are going up and down you get all this wave of negative information then there's some positive information it's all rigged folks now how do you combat that you combat that by not letting them control your mind and making your own decisions when you start making your own decisions you remove yourself from the matrix you remove yourself from the chessboard bank of america has launched an internal investigation following the whistleblower complaint in june which accused bankers of dis disclosing bankers, multiple. This is widespread. This is what they're alleging. Accused bankers of disclosing confidential information. This next article really going to open your eyes. But just wait until we get to that one. Because what is the confidential information? What are they sharing? Hmm, inf interesting, right? Confidential information to investors before important stock sales in Asia, as reported by the Wall Street Journal. You think this is not happening all over the world? We saw reports of stuff like this before all across the globe, U.S. included. We've seen political figures even in, uh, implicated in certain insider trading. And you know what I'm talking about. The complaint review by the Wall Street Journal specifically alleged that bankers shared details of transactions with investors before the announcement of a stock sale in India, potentially allowing the investors to engage in front running, quote unquote, front running is rigged. We are right again. All right. We may make things a little bit entertaining here sometimes, but we're trying to give you as much good information as possible that you can look into for yourself and you make up your own mind about it. Wait a minute. Let's go to this here. It's all. Why is everything getting exposed now? They know this is part of the chess game, folks. Chess entirely. All of life, all of Earth is a giant chess board. Even if you don't look at it, I, I want you to know that the people that run the planet look at everything as being on a chess board and they move accordingly. You better know that. All right. Now, whether you accept it or not, it's that way. This is a part of the chess board. Now, with this with this chess move, I think what's happening is this is going to cause more deposit flight. Think about this for a minute. Follow me here. This is going to cause more deposit flight. More deposit flight is going to go to one of two places. It's either going to go to money market funds, cash on the side, money market funds, or it's going to go into gold. Now, either one of those can be liquidated very quickly. We know that can move out of those places and back into something else. Now, a lot of people uh speculate about the stock market no i don't think so i think that money's going somewhere else i think that money's going to go into crypto i do in the future big explosions coming all the big top dogs all the top economists talking about massive explosion coming not just me there's a lot of top economists this is what they do for a living saying there's a massive explo explosion coming now on that chessboard why would you not if you're going to rig everything if you're going to control everything and believe me everything is controlled if you're going to control everything, why would you not try to divert capital to certain places where, you know, once you initiate certain you initiate certain catalyst? I say that specifically that that money could flow into exactly what you want it to flow into. And that would be very easily by via manipulation of the media. The media is they're, they're, they're controlled, highly controlled. All right. I've seen it firsthand. 
they love to shake hands. They love to make friends with who's powerful. First thing, they want to know who you are, what you do, what's your position. And if you have a powerful one, they get real, real close to you. They're real, real nice to you. Now, look at this. Wait a minute. This is pure manipulation. Chess move. Chess at its finest. Um, and most people won't see this. So you have that information come out. That's going to cause deposit flight. People are going to hear about it. They're going to run for the hills. Watch, watch the information coming out on deposit flight and watch where that money goes. Watch money market funds. All right. For, mostly watch the money market funds with the non-banking financial institutions, not money market accounts. Now, wait. This article here is from the dailyhodl.com and it's titled Billion Dollar Bank Accused of Secretly Sending Customers Personal and Financial Information. Hmm? So back to back, this is coming out? You think this is by accident? This is not meant to flood the people with this type of information so that they all go in one direction. I have to humbly disagree with you. I believe this is another chess move. All of this together is meant to prompt a response in people. Wait, wait, let's read a little bit of this. The eighth largest bank in the U.S. by total assets is accused of secretly collecting, per secretly collecting personal and financial information from its customers and sharing the data with tech giants. Why do you think that is? What do you think they're doing with that information? A new class action lawsuit alleges Capital One engaged in an, an out, quote, outrageous, illegal, and a widespread practice of disclosing without consent the non-public personal information and personally identifiable financial information, unquote, of its customers, sharing it with the third with third parties, including Facebook, Google, and Microsoft. What do you think they're doing with that information? Hmm? Listen, folks, the entirety of this old system, in my humble opinion, is being rigged. It's being brought down slowly and the people are being guided somewhere that they don't know where they're going, but they're being guided there. They don't see the shepherd telling them to move this way, but the shepherd is definitely there, there for sure. They're setting up the new financial system and they are eroding the respect and the trust of the legacy system so that when they come in with the new system, which I believe at the forefront will be the private sector, just like what Christopher Waller of the Fed said. I believe that as well. XRP is in there. Stellar is in there. Quant is in there. Flare is in there. Now they're doing a whole Bitcoin thing with Flare. Um, Solana is in there. Chainlink is in there. Bitcoin is in there. They are chosen ones, not the chosen one. They are chosen ones. Crypto as a whole is bullish. I want to keep on saying that because it's true and I feel it deep within my soul. It says, quote, Capital One did. Uh, it says, quote, whoa, it's a strong words here. Capital One did so knowingly and secretly configuring and implementing code based tracking services into its website. What do they know about the people, right? The plaintiffs say Capital One has had tracking technologies installed on its website since, quote, at least November 30th, 2023, and at least as recently as June 24th, 2024, unquote. Now, I mean, man, there's so much going on. Then look at what they're doing with security, right? All of these things lead you right back to the new financial system. Security of information. So all of these leaks that have been happening, all of these hacks, I, got, I have an article somewhere about another breach that happened. Everybody's information getting out there, right? Oh, the, the system here is not secure enough. It's not up to date enough. They come in later with the new financial system, offering it to the people as a savior. People don't understand how powerful it is to wreck everything only to come in later with this savior. Uh, it could be anything. It could be a person. It could be a technology. But the people clamor when they're in pain and clamor for a savior and the power, the so-called powers of the world, the ones who control everything. They know that they know that the people want a savior. The people want a king. The people want a leader. Most of the time, the majority wants that. And whoever can provide that to them, they won't let it happen naturally. But if you can provide that to the people, you can control the people. And that's, I think, what's happening here. They come in later and say, hey, listen. We can stop your information from getting out there with this new financial system.
It's, it's completely secure. Matter of fact, remember they floated the idea, we'll put the power in your hands. They'll make you responsible. They'll still control the information, but they'll make you responsible for it here. We're going to give you this in the personal wallet and you control your, 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 your identity, your digital identity. All along, they can access it all along, but they'll give you the illusion, the guys that you control. Here's keep this in your 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 uh, what do they call that? Your offline wallet, right? Digital ID is much more secure. Remember that they used to push that, and then they got quiet. Why did they get quiet? I can assure you, they get quiet about things, but they don't walk away from them. This is what I was trying to convey in yesterday's video. Yesterday's video, I thought was very important. So now, all of these videos I'm putting out are pieces to a puzzle. Right? We're trying to look at something very grandiose. We've got to look at it a little bit at a time. right? But we're on the case. We're unraveling things little by little. That's how I feel. So you have this. Now, wait. Okay, now let's get to some crypto news. I'm going to put that to the side. But the truth is coming out. Now let's get to some XRP news. We're getting a little bit of, little bit of crypto news here. right? So now, this article is titled, Expert Says, Expert Says XRP Won't Just Experience a Bull Run but a perpetual growth cycle. Does that not sound familiar? This is what a lot of uh, analysts who are neutral are saying about all of crypto. Well, the top cryptos, I don't mean every single crypto, but I mean across the board at the top cryptos, they all look very bullish and they look like they're going to be on, on an upward traje trajectory into the future. It's not just XRP, but XRP is one of them, but it's not just XRP. But when I'm looking at it, I see that there's a high possibility of it also, not financial advice, but I agree with this. I think that's a high possibility. Could it go in opposite opposite direction? Sure, it could. But right now, that percentage of possibility of it going in an opposite direction is very small, in my humble opinion. All right. Let's read this little tidbit and see what this individual has to say. It says here. Renounced XRP enthusiast. So this person, I guess they, they're not pro XRP anymore. That's interesting. Okay. Renounced XRP enthusiast. Is that what you mean? Right. I think I'm interpreting that correctly. Um, says XRP will soon enter an unending upward trajectory in price and call for the community to buy the dip. Why did they say renounced? Beg my, bear with me one moment. Let's look this up. I want to make sure because, you know, some words have one, two, three, four definitions. I look up words all the time. I just want to make sure there's not a definition of renounced that um that I'm missing. Right. That's what I do. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to ask questions. I'm not lazy at all. But I put in the work. One thing you should know about Mick. Mick is going to work hard. I don't care what it is. If anybody knows me from anywhere, you talked about me. The first thing they're going to say, Mick is working. It works hard. I'm going to outwork everybody. So I'm not lazy. So let's look it up. <laughs> Renounce, formally declare one's abandonment. So that, reject, second definition, reject and stop using or consuming. Um, third definition, refuse or resign a right or position. All right. So, yeah. So I'm like, well, OK, so this is a person who's saying that they, I guess, for some time in order to be a renouncer, you have to for some time be against that particular thing. So this is someone who has been against XRP, but is saying that it will soon enter an unending upward trajectory. Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess there's two ways you could look at that. Just the overall bullishness and XRP just exploding at some point because of all the different positive catalysts. But then also you could look at it as XRP has a lot of ground to make up. Like it probably already without the SEC case and all the kneecapping and um, stuff like that in the US, XRP would have probably already been over $2 a long time ago. You want, That's how I feel. A long time ago, it will already have done that. So really... Up until like a dollar, dollar fifty cents, I feel like it's just it's just catching up. It's just making up lost ground. You know what I mean? Um, I so I look at it. There, those are two ways you could look at it, right? It says here XRP and other cryptocurrencies have been dumped consider considerably recently, putting bulls in jeopardy. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it was just a natural occurrence. This is what happens. It happens all the time. It's nothing new. Nothing new at all. There was a lot of bad cat, uh, bad news out there pressing the people and the people get panicked very easily. The people, want, they don't want to protect themselves. I get that also. I look at that in two ways also. One, they're, they're panicked. Another one where it's reasonable. They want to protect their capital. They pull it out. But I think people are too easily moved. But that's just my humble opinion. Um, but it doesn't change what the people do now does not change the future of crypto. Not one little bit. It doesn't. They can't move the companies and that's it. It's over for the people being the controllers of crypto. It's over. They're not. Right. 
Um, they're on the plate now. The big companies have stepped in. They're going to continue to step in. They control crypto now. When they say go and the media gives that crypto push or when they in infuse capital, those prices start go going up. As it's going up, people will buy. They buy going up. And it gets sold on. That's what's going to happen, folks. The times have changed dramatically, dramatically. Um, so, yeah, I just see it as a natural occurrence. No big deal at all, really. In my humble, just my humble opinion, my humble, humble opinion. Have your own. Right? Let me have mine. This price, I, I say, let me have mine. I'm going to have it anyway, but I'm being polite by saying, let me have mine. I'm going to have mine anyway. Can't stop me. This price underperformance. Somebody out there is like, I will stop you, Mick. Um, OK, this price <laughs> underperformance. <laughs> I can't laugh too. People like when you get too happy, you laugh too much, you know? They dislike that a lot, you know? But I like to have a good time. Just know if you're around me in the future, and you might be. <laughs> you might be. I like to have a good time all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, it says this price, and I'm not afraid of anything, this price under performance has seen renounced experts question the validity of the expected bull cycle post Bitcoin halving. Which, well, who are the experts you're talking about? Are they really experts? Re like, is this is what they do for a living. Because the people that are um, pros at, at, at research, pro economists are, 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 have been saying for quite some time that there is a huge bull run coming. There's people that, those are people that have their degrees in research. The people that, um, they, uh, this is what they get paid to do are saying that they think that there's a huge bull run coming then some point some point in the future nobody knows when but they just know it's the the potentiality is there so who are the analysts you're talking about who are these because these days they call everybody an expert they call everybody an analyst so who is it you got to be specific so we know how, how serious to take their opinion that's how I look at it. It says, however, XRP proponents have remained bullish. There's a lot of different XRP proponents as well. Ooh. Insisting that the asset would soar exponentially in the coming months. I wouldn't say would, could. Could, yeah. But like I said, all the top crypto could do that. In the next bull run, if it is what the experts are saying, if it, if it happens that way, and I believe it looks like that. A lot of good catalysts there. If it happens the way that they're saying... All of those top crypto will go off just like it did in 2021. Let me remind people how many countless millionaires were made. That's why a lot of the videos back then were millionaires going to be made millionaire because they were. <laughs> they were worth. And you you watched them and you watched them. You watched a lot of them blow their money, too. I hope people learned they blew a lot of these millionaires blew their money. You know, when you live a, a, a very reckless lifestyle and you don't know how to conserve capital or it really invest it and keep it, save it. I don't even want to say invest it. Save that capital. It goes quickly. It can go quickly. But but you saw that. So but if that if if there were countless millionaires made in 2021 and this next bull run is is uh, is, de is is being determined to be much bigger than 2021, then even more, uh, theoretically speaking, even more millionaires should. Or I won't even say millionaires, people, people with a lot of capital, because I mean, look, 800,000 is a lot to some people, 500,000 is a lot to some people, 200,000 is a lot to some people. But people theoretically should make more money in this next bull run than the, than the last one. Everything's bigger. Everything's better. Not financial advice. This is just my humble thoughts as I'm thinking about this. Um, so everything across the board was sore led, and, and Bitcoin would lead the way. That's what I'm looking at. I think that's what's going to happen. According to Edward Farina. Oh, so this is coming from Edward Farina. OK. Um, a crypto enthusiast and head of social adoption at XRP Healthcare, the XRPL native token would see a perpetual cycle for context. A perpetual cycle insinuates an unending upward trajectory for XRP. All right. So we shall see. Right. I'm going to leave that right there. Let's move on to this one. I have some more articles. I want to make sure I get to a good amount of these today. Now, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. A lot of people who uh, who are they've been putting their minds to observing crypto for a long time are seeing the same buildup. They're seeing this buildup and it's there. And listen, I look at all the different sides. I try to say to myself, OK, is the bear market coming back? A real bear market. Blood everywhere. People in unending suffering, <laughs> ending suffering. Is that coming back? Or are we going into a bull run? You know, we just have a healthy few healthy dips and corrections. And the more I look at it, I can't deny it. I'm not a person. Listen, I can't live on myself if I'm going to if I'm dishonest. I've always been a person. I have to tell the truth. I'm going to tell you. And what's truth? 
what I'm analyzing, what I'm looking at, when I'm looking at what's considered to be facts. And that's what I'm going to tell the people. So I'm going to come tell the people like, hey, listen, this is what I'm seeing. It looks like crypto is setting up for something major. It does. And I can't get around it. The more information I'm looking at, uh, all the top cryptos are looking super, super healthy and bullish with their building and with their backing from institutions. So anyway, this article is titled Crypto Markets Forming Huge Bear Trap Before Ascent Into Euphoria. Pseudonymous crypto analyst tech dev says that Bitcoin and digital assets are in the middle of a massive bear trap before the next leg up. Tech dev. Uh, OK, then they talk about how many followers the person has. You know how they do that whole thing there. I just want to get to the information and look at this. What is happening? They say everything's happening for happens for a reason. And it's so interesting. Uh, my, my computer is like giving me problems right now. It doesn't want to scroll down. According to tech dev, BTC is the, quote, bear trap, uh, unquote, phase of the cycle, which precedes, quote, renewed optimism, unquote, FOMO, fear of missing out and euphoria stages before topping out and entering the bull trap. The analyst believes that USDT dominance in the crypto markets look bearish, implying that stable coins will soon be traded in mass for other digital assets boosting prices. Tech dev recently compared Bitcoin's historical price action to the Nikkei 225, the biggest Japanese stock market index. Based on tech dev's charts, the trader suggested that Bitcoin could go as high as $760,000. My word. Let me keep going. Sometime, oh, okay. Sometime between 2028 and 2029. I was about to say, you put some years on it. <laughs> Even then, holy smokes, you believe Bitcoin's going that high? Really? I mean, hey, listen, it's not the highest I've heard. I've heard, um, was it Samson Mao believes it'd go to a million dollars, you know? Um, I don't need it to go that high. I'm telling you right now, I make <laughs> Bitcoin, I'm staring at you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My fingers get to going like this, pressing buttons. Soon I tell you, Bitcoin, I'm not waiting for a high price like that. This is me. Just me. I'm not saying anybody else has to do that. All right. But seven hundred sixty thousand dollars is what he's saying, which means that everything else would also take off. A lot of that liquidity would trickle out of Bitcoin and into everything else. It always happens. Last month, tech dev noted that he was optimistic about the recent downturn in the crypto market. Quote, obviously, there is extreme fear in the market. Of course, that's manipulation. We know who in, who um, injected the fear into the market. That, that data was manipulated. I told the people the data was manipulated. Oh, man. But, you know, hey, man. If I had a bigger platform, you know, more people were here. You know, we're, we're working to get there. The last two weeks were filled with told you comments from Doomer Bears on a retest of forty eight thousand dollars levels. Uh, uh, they previously said would never be reached for the last time they were doom posting at twenty five thousand dollars. All right. Listen, we all know this type of stuff like that, but we're we're uh, we're seeing what's really happening. Of the, you know, BlackRock is involved and all these other big companies are involved. And they definitely want to see a profit out of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to go back up 100 percent. And this usually happens in September. Bitcoin is a little bit rocky. Uh, we have people reaffirm that that truth um, towards the end of the year. They, you know, we had a lot of pros saying that Bitcoin could take off in, at, towards the end of the year. So we shall see. Then look at articles like this. Like there's a lot of people who are analysts, re researchers, economists saying the same thing. Bitcoin grossly undervalued. I like. I don't understand how anyone could say it's not. Once again, you don't get these people buying in like <laughs> BlackRock, Valkyrie, Wisdom Tree, Ark Invest, etc. You don't, Franklin Templeton, you don't get them buying into something and, and expecting very little profit. You just don't. And I'll tell you what else. Once once again, when you're not seeing a massive media push, you knew it wasn't time. That 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 asset did not reach its peak price. It didn't. When the time comes, you're going to see positive media everywhere. And let me tell you, a lot of that is money pushing that. It's not just the people want to report on certain things. You know, controversy really is what sells. Um, gossip and controversy and, and uh, conspiracies, etc. Those type of things sell all the time. That's why I got a lot of channels that are based around that. Just general channels uh, based around those things. Not financial information that <laughs> just doesn't move like those other things do. So when you start to see something like financial news being pushed in the mainstream all over the place, you should know money is behind it. 100% most of the time money is behind it. Someone has a vested interest in that information being spread. It's a, it's a pump, but anyway, so 
It says here, the asset in broader crypto market tend to move on the release of U.S. economic figures and political developments. Not I would slightly disagree with that. I think that the political uh, you know, stuff and the, the economic data is used to move the people this way or the other. It's not just that it comes out because most people it, it would come out. Most people wouldn't even check for it. Um, they wouldn't even care. It has to be brought to them most of the time, in my humble opinion, from my experience. All right. You may know you may have experienced something different, but they would just overlook it and keep going. But when it's pushed, it's being pushed on them um, and it's being conveyed in a certain way where it's not from a neutrality. It's not from a positive standpoint. Um, it's used to manipulate them to drive things down. There's a lot of market manipulation, as you're seeing with the Bank of America information, as you're seeing with the Capital One information that's coming out here. Um, and a lot of the other stuff that's been exposed this year about rigging of the systems in the banks and the financial industry, doing things that are not above board. This is what the, this is what the people allege. All right. It says Bitcoin remains stable over the weekend trading in between $54,000 and $55,000. I think I saw it at $56,000 today. Following a significant liquidation of crypto long positions after a U.S. jobs report indicated a weaker labor market upcoming events this week include a presidential debate. Um, and the really I don't understand how that could affect things. Really, um, it's, it's political season. They're going to tell you positive stuff. Uh, uh, po politicians will do anything to get in position. So what are they going to say? We don't like crypto. No, they're going to say we love crypto. I don't understand why that would be taken seriously, but OK, you know, to each his own. Um, it's just like a lot of these presidential candidates over the years have said they're going to do things. They never do them. They never do them. But they told the people this to move the people in certain a certain direction is pure manipulation. You know what I mean? So that's why I just dismiss that. It's like. I can't take that serious unless I've actually seen somebody do what they say they're going to do, especially when it comes to something as significant as crypto that cha it changes. It's going to change the world. It is changing the world. You know what I mean? Um, so now. Uh, so but OK, presidential debate and the release of U.S. economic indicators. Now, if they actually provide the numbers and then have the numbers looked at by professionals and combed over and give us the real numbers, revise it immediately, then, yeah, sure, that will be very potent. I don't think that's what's going to happen. Um, I think the numbers will be slanted in a certain direction. There will be no revising for months, and they're going to use this as a, a, a um, as a catalyst or a precursor to take certain actions that they want to take. They're going to use the data, manipulate it in a certain way, present it in a certain way um, that it serves their purposes. I think that's what's going to happen with that. Um, but yes, it will move the people 100%. It's going to be used as a tool to move the people like it always does. This is with market analysts from Presto Research suggesting Bitcoin is undervalued due to its record high network security despite prevailing macroeconomic concerns. But listen, everything tells me Bitcoin is waiting to explode. Uh, and people wanted to explode. As a matter of fact, the people needed to explode. And then also the companies wanted to explode. Uh, everything is in Bitcoin's favor, in my humble opinion. Bitcoin was a little changed over the weekend ahead of a busy week that includes much. Uh, and then they reiterate the presidential debate. I don't know why they reiterate things, but that's what they're doing here. Let's see. We have one more thing. I'm going to skip the next XRP article. I'm going to do a little bit of Cardano. Why not? Um, I like to keep up with what's going on with Cardano. So this article here, and we may close out with this one, is titled Cardano Sees Sudden Surge in Trading Activity. What happened? Well, there was a lot of bullish stuff coming out about Cardano. I mean, I think people are starting to, I would think maybe people are starting to accept the fact that Cardano ADA is super bullish, especially heading into the next bull run. It's looking really good. Period. I said this for like two years now while everyone else said Cardano was dead and Ada was dead and Ada was it was not a good thing. And I said it was good. And now I think people are starting to see that. Yes, it is good. It looks strong. And I have zero Ada. I have no reason to say that other than it's the truth. It's what I'm, I'm honestly seeing. So anyway, it says here, according to data provided by the cryptocurrency analytics platform, Santiment, Cardano is currently experiencing a quote, Historical high, unquote, address activity spike. OK, um, other cryptocurrencies with a notable surge in address activity include Quant. Is that so? <laughs> you do know I love Quant, right? I don't have to talk about it all the time. It's one of my most bullish things that I have. Yes, I let it collect dust. It's not going anywhere. I love I love Quant and the possibilities of what it can bring. It says historically, this means that such crypto assets could potentially experience a price bounce in the near future. Very good stuff. That said, according to, to data provided by Market Profit, Cardano sentiment remains overwhelmingly bearish. 
This applies to both crowd sentiment and smart money sentiment. Well, the addresses are going up. So, I mean, obviously that would go. Um, obviously, you know, there's a little bit of contrasting information here. Um, it says here. So I would just what I've noticed. The people that tend to be very positive. Very bullish on things. And I, I'll say this just in life, they tend to be more quiet. They're more doers. They don't need to tell you that they're positive, right? They just act. They're more actors. They act, they do. And they let their actions speak for them. People that tend to be more negative, they're more vocal. It's like they need other people to hear it. They want to convert other people to their thinking and way. I think I think this is a means to justify how they feel. They're not really sure if they should be negative. So they, they shout it, they say it, they argue with people and try to bring you over to their side. Um, you know, they try to spread that negativity a little bit to justify how they feel, because if someone else says, oh, maybe you're right about that. And they come over to that side, they feel better about that position. I think this is what I'm uh, it's my humble thoughts. Um, so you tend to hear them more is what I'm trying to say, as opposed to these people here that are that making the addresses spike. You don't hear anything from them at all. Why? Right. So it says here. Um, <laughs> and then they talk about the bearishness a little bit more. Don't need to go deep with that. Um, the Cardano network recently implemented, implemented the Chang Heart Fork, despite the hype around the much anticipated upgrade that brings decentralized governance. It failed to result in a substantial price spike for the cryptocurrency. Why would it? You just need to make the chain better. So developers want to build on it as developers build on it and it's used more Then obviously that would affect Cardano a lot in the future. You want to make sure the future is solid. Everything is not about a price spike right now. You have to build these chains. That's the real bullishness for the future. Build on them. Make them great. And the money will come. They People want the price to just explode and nothing has happened yet. They haven't even completed the job. <laughs> I, I don't understand that. It's like expecting to sell a computer, but you're missing the, the you, you're missing all the essential parts. You want to sell a car, but you're missing the engine. You're missing the, the, the um, all the essential parts. No, you got to build build that to completion and then you will then then the value will come right so now now that you have that information what are you going to do with it i know what i'm going to do with this so until next time everybody let's get to the money